Welcome back everybody. So what are we on now? Is it like day 15 of lockdown? It's starting, it's starting to affect my moods. Like I'm starting to be really sharp with people and bite people's head off and that's that's not me normally. So I'm just trying to stay positive and I'm proper struggling with it. So um, I'm back down at work at the minute. Um, just doing a few bits really. Just again, just isolation kind of crack. I know obviously saying we shouldn't leave the house but it's just two and a half mile, two mile or whatever from mine to work. So I come in on my own and I go home on my own, nobody's here, so I just kind of crack on and clean my thoughts, really. So I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. So obviously, with the lockdown coming, we, not like, we weren't massively stocked, but we had, like, quite a few nice cars in stock, obviously, which are, surprise, surprise, still here. So I just thought I'd give us a, lock uh, a lockdown, see it's in my brain, a look round of what's going on and uh, some of the cars that we've got. Right, so this is the first one up. Listen, if anybody's got a garage, everybody knows you've got a corner in your garage called Death Corner with a project car sat in there that really should be finished and you just haven't gotten time, time to do it. So this is this is ours. Um, well, this actually belongs to a gentleman called Ian Payne, a uh, good friend of ours. Just currently on with it, trying to get it ready. We're supposed, supposed to be getting ready for the ring, but I don't think that's going to be a problem now, is it? So um, that one there is, is a Megleo, so we've got the... Megan 225 turbo engine in unfortunately for Ian we built it and uh, it done one track there and basically popped the engine put the rod out the block again which is not common for a bottom end on a 225 engine so that's a way of getting a forged engine built now the motor's out of it um, all the parts are ordered up and to be fair they should be there now um, this one should be just over 300 horsepower when it's finished it's quite a well spec car he's chucked money at this thing as well so obviously as you can see it's got the BYC rear wing on it just have to duck down because the, sh the struts on this boot are shortened. Yeah, I can't get in it now. Great. Let's open up the front. So, as you can see, SW Motorsports FIA approved cage. To be fair, the cage is a, is a work of art. A very, very good, well put together little car, this. Flock dash, OMP wheel. We've got Corbu seats. It runs Bilstein B14s, which is one as a way of just getting rebuilt now. But this will be a cracker of a car. Um, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be too long. We're going to paint it as well. Obviously, we don't know what colour. Depends on what Ian decides. But um, it's quite a cool car. It's worth looking at. On to the next one, which was clean and absolutely mint before this COVID took over. It's obviously very dusty now. It's been slated a couple of weeks, but um, this is obviously for people who are familiar with it. Great, if not, it's a Impreza WRX V Limited. It's a Jap import this one, but it came into the country really early. I think it was imported in 1996. This one, so it was brought over not long after it was new. Done 170,000 miles this car, but obviously had an engine rebuild six years ago. And to be fair, hasn't done a lot of miles since it was built. It's been stood in a in a unit and hardly is used, so hasn't done a lot of miles at all. But a very tidy car. I mean, obviously the recent thing on Top Gear as well. I know obviously it wasn't this model, but. Definitely, definitely one of the more iconic Subarus and obviously in the right colour as well. So we quite like that. I think it's quite a cool car, this. Um, it isn't the fastest thing in the world, you know. Technology has moved on since Subaru obviously built this car. This is just running, I'm sure it's running something like 200 and, 270, 280 horsepower. It still goes quite well, but it, it kind of feels old. The gearbox, the clutch, the way it puts its power down, it feels like an old car. But it's quite a bonny thing, to be fair, obviously with the V-Limited. Got the limited edition seats in there as well with the little plaques on them. I think I've got the key for this actually. There you are. You can't beat the sound of a Subaru like to be fair, can you? Worth a look because, like I said, I, I quite like that car. I think it's, I think it's quite cool. Little Fears one, which we we left to last out there. Uh, the ones that we bought are one of the last cars. Um, this one is a pretty well spec car. I'll not spend too much time on it, but it's on Bilstein B14. This one got a uh, plate grip, a different 197 cams, ported head, uh, tuned at EFI in Runcorn, Cheshire. Quite a bonny little car. Sensible miles. And to be fair, it's it's a real driver's car. It, it gets down the road really well. It handles nice. But uh, it needs a little bit of paintwork before we can let it go. And a little bit of prep, but... I 
think you'd agree a Fiesta one Clio is definitely it's quite a nice car. And obviously my own, which obviously we've been trying to feature. Uh, well, one of the ones that I've got, but I uh, just haven't really had much time to do anything with it, unfortunately. Is obviously the Meg RS250 with the yellow dot Recaros in. Nice royal retrimmed steering wheel. Just a quick look at it because, like I said, I don't want to go on too much about it. Um, spec wise, in this one, uh, it's RS tuned and tuned, 310 horsepower, uh, Wagner front mount. Miltec 3 inch DCAT, uh, mid box chop, uh, Pro Race 1.2s, these are 8 inch wheels as well, so they'll fill the arches nicely. It actually goes really well. If you've drove a Meg 250, great. If you haven't, obviously these here are just mega through the corners. You can drive them so quick, but they're effortless. I think with these Megs, I, I appreciate what the Meg is and I really, really like the car, but basically what I need is I find I need myself a balance between that. And that I, I always even if I've got something boosted I always have to have a Clio about because I miss the like the NA side of it I always like that reviness but in terms of going quick if like if you go to the Nürburgring then you, you can't really buy much better than that for under under 10 15 grand they're as quick as most stuff over there at the minute for that kind of money our little black BG engine dynamics low boost um, this one here again it's a good little car um, this one is going but obviously with what's going on at the minute, obviously we can't really be in contact with anybody, so that's why it's still here and hasn't been collected. Uh, 244 horsepower, I think this one made. Honestly, it goes so well. Such a nice little car. And I'll just go around the next one. Again, this is one that we've sold, just covered in dust, just sat waiting. This is our little bipper. Um, not your average bipper, it's quite cool. It's it's a little bit different. So this one's got the R uh, bath. Uh, 1.4 T-Jet turbo engine in as well and um, we're on coilovers just running standard power 140 horsepower but I think we're going to tune it for the customer and it's going to be running about 180 horsepower by the time it goes but wicked little van it's got the S3 leather car row seats in which are fully electric and all work and plumbed in but in terms of like something to advertise or just something to have a laugh in then it's a pretty uh it's a pretty cool little van that and obviously at the unit obviously you know that one it's our EP3, the one that we featured on the channel. Um, the video for that one went really, really well, so we were quite happy with that. I think the views on that one was about, um, I think it was 40 odd thousand, 45 or 46k last time we looked, but to be fair, it hasn't done much since the last videos. It's just stood there and hasn't really turned a wheel, but uh, we will get back out and, and, uh, and get back in it. You can see, obviously, you can see the dust on the roof. And then another one is the uh, 987. Boxster, it's 2.7 manual that one, it's not modified, I, I bought that for my missus so that's her car for when the, the nice weather comes, obviously if we're allowed to go anywhere like, but that just sits in here, it doesn't really get used much until the weather flips, we've got NC500 booked in August in this one which we're going to video which I think will be a mint trip, but again it just literally depends if we get there, it's a bonnie car that one, 40,000 miles on it as well so specifically look for one with low miles on, but believe it or not, I don't mind telling you, obviously I bought that car out of co part. It had a dent in one of the wheels and it was um it was category N and it came it came really, really cheap. I was looking under about 10 or 12 grand. This one came for a lump less, so we got quite a good buy with that car. So yeah, really that, that concludes it. Just a quick and easy, harmless video this morning, really. And I just kind of needed to get out the house and, and break it up a little bit. And luckily enough for me, obviously I can still kind of keep within the conditions of, of COVID and I don't really see anybody here and it's it's pretty secluded so i'm pretty safe in my surroundings but i hope everybody's hanging in there obviously i know it's a difficult time for everybody um petrol heads you can't drive your cars the neighborhood rings being cancelled there's no track days you know so it, it's a struggle just that alone never mind obviously going home and being in each other's company 24 7 i mean i'm I, i'm a guy that loves to be at home i've got a beautiful daughter and a missus and i absolutely love being at home but you know, sometimes it can get hard when you're on each other's feet 24-7. So just hang in there. And obviously, most importantly, from myself and Dan at the channel, I just hope everybody's families are safe and nobody's suffering too badly from this. You know, this COVID-19 is is very real. Like, um, it's surreal, to be honest. Put a bit of a, a black cloud on our local area as well. There's people dying from it. Um, there's a lad who I know who works at one of the rigs in Newcastle. He's been really bad with it. A lad that we 
normally do track days with who luckily enough I haven't seen for a little while but I wish him well and um, he suffered from it as well so just kind of try not to be ignorant of the situation is what I'm telling myself and take others into consideration when you're wanting to go out and just do the normal things that you would do every day there are still people doing it and to be fair I think it's shit I don't think you should be doing that I think it's very selfish but that's obviously up to them but mainly I hope everybody's safe and everybody's still enjoying the channel me and Dan have got all the time in the world at the minute which I'm sure you can see from the previous videos so if you've got any questions or um, if you want me and Dan to have like a question and answer session that's been recommended you know we don't have any problems with that but uh we're here for a chat and a bit of crack and hopefully it'll break up the bad situation that everybody's in. But uh, I wish you all well. Obviously, I wish you obviously health and happiness. I hope everybody's cool and everybody's kind of sticking in there. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing and we'll, we'll see you very soon.